Hello there. Almost started the outro. There we go. That's good. Life's going fine. How are you doing, Gino? Also, my name is Hope all of you have had a fantastic start to your weeks. And I really need to do something about that. Anyway. <laughs> Today we'll be continuing Pathologic. Getting back into that bachelor life, which, to be honest, seems a bit more difficult than I remember. But... Uh, <laughs> How you doing, Adam? Um, yeah. That's about it. How you doing, Zai? Good evening. I thought I had something very profound to say, but my mind just drew a complete blank. It's 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 been an eventful week week again. Uh, for the example. How are you doing, Cthulhu? For example, the entirety of my yesterday went into uh, doing more pixel art stuff. China. Maybe I should disable those for the beginning. That might not be the worst of ideas. Ah, uh, anyway. Brain fart again. Right, so, my entirety of yesterday went into doing more pixel art stuff, because, uh, you know, Born Punk is supposed to be released at some point, so it would be nice to have as much stuff done for it as possible. Because, you know... You don't know how it feels being without butter. Because, you know, games tend to have to get released at some point, so... <laughs> Granted, the stuff that I have still left to do, it's all extra stuff, so the game is gonna get released whether I do that stuff or not. But I still want to have as much me in the game before it's released, so... I've been trying to do as much stuff as possible so far. And for example, uh, yesterday I spent the entire day Murder and I... Time. I, um... Finished two complete tasks, which was good. Oh yeah, and I have quite a bunch of ideas for what I'm going to do for the next ones. I... In, in fact, I got some ideas for a thing that, I, again, is one of those tasks that gives me free reign. It doesn't have any instructions, really, on what to do. It's just... Do something for this scene. And I've gotten some actually pretty good ideas for what I'm going to do. And I'm going to have... I think I'm going to have much fun doing that. But that's not today. Because today it's pathologic. Day 5 of The Bachelor. I've been trying to remember all the things we did the last time on pathologic. So, uh... Hopefully, I won't fuck up too much. If if nothing else, I do remember that I tend to save at the start of a day. So if we screw up, we can just reload the day, which I don't want to do, because it takes, of course, more time to go through the entire day. But um, if I remember correctly, we've done some side quest stuff. I We've freed some prisoners. I don't remember if we've done anything after that about that thing. We're supposed to go find... Probably the Haru Specs, I think. But I don't remember too much. I'm, I'm kinda going by... Let's check the notes and uh, read the map. Because the map tends to have important things tagged into it. And I'm sure we'll find out what we're supposed to do. That's pretty much where I'm at right now. <laughs> so, might as well start the game. Oh well, it happens, Chaos. 
I still do want to play through this. I would kind of want to play through them all because I know I'm enjoying this game. Even if it is uh, not the most action focused. Has a lot of talky-talky uh, and all that kind of stuff. But it's just one of those things that hits that kind of right note for me. Traces of the supernatural. But also because I understand uh, that it's not necessarily the best game for viewing all the time. That's why I did some of the changes to the streaming schedule. Oh, and by the way, about the streaming schedule. Um, I, I do think I talked about this a little bit during my summer car, but I'm going to talk about it more now. Which is, uh, yeah, the beast inside is not happening anymore. And uh, I've now installed and reset Alan Wake, which means we can start playing that. So the stream after this one, which will likely be on Saturday, it's going to be Alan Wake and we're going to start that one over. I, I, I remember trying to play it uh, quite a bunch. Way, way, way back when. Before I was even streaming, but I don't think I ever finished it. So I thought it would be a good idea to start that over. And maybe after that, when we finished Alan Wake, we could also do Control at some point. Because apparently they are in the same universe. So, uh... That I think would be a good idea. We're still going to continue the Deus Ex uh, playthrough, which... Uh, Deus Ex is going to be the next game that's going to be after whichever game we're going to finish. So, uh, whether it's going to be Pathologic or Alan Wake or even My Summer Car, whether, uh, whichever one of those is finished first is going to be replaced by the next installment in the Deus Ex series. So, getting a bit of variety here as well. Not just playing the same games all over again in a linear fashion. Just playing all kinds of games and saving them for posterity. Beast Inside was a damp squib, sadly, yeah, pretty much. It was one of those that seemed like it would have a lot of promise. And the trailers made it look really good. But, no, it just, it just wasn't. And the story was fucking predictable. I still can't believe... That in chapter 2, which is the part when we are introduced to the second timeline. I had already figured out the entire fucking story how it's going to go. Because it's, it was so goddamn predictable. And yeah, I know how the story goes because I, I, I watched a Beast Inside story video. And I was facepalming through that because I was like, okay, fuck, it's, it's actually that predictable. It wasn't even trying... Uh, well, okay. No, it was trying to do a twist. Problem was, the twist was fucking obvious. <laughs> it's just one of those games. Had promise, didn't deliver, unfortunately. Yeah, the twist was that the twist was fucking obvious. But anyway... Main screen, turn on. Game, show. Audio, on. There we go. All right. I did also get some good news, by the way. Kind of. Good news in the sense that, uh, uh, you remember when I was complaining about the whole um, ceiling repair thing because of the water damage stuff and how it hasn't moved forward like at all in about two months? Is it three now? Fucking long time anyway. It's been a long time anyway before anything really happened, and uh, I don't remember if I mentioned it, because I don't remember if we got the note before that. But uh, we also got a note from uh, 
the insurance company telling us that they hadn't even gotten the bill from the repair company yet. So they can't so they can't go forward with it because they haven't gotten the bill. They finally got it. And the whole ordeal is now over. That is the good part. Alright, perfect. We freed those things. Things. People. Alright, yeah, and we were supposed to look some... Uh, really beautiful door... I think I got it already. Congratulations, Cthulhu, you are now the Schrodinger's drunk. Yeah, thank fucking goodness. I'm, I'm happy it's over. I'm not happy that it costs us 600 euros, uh, but... Um, It's still over, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Well, let's go to Stamatin's pub, then to Burak. Hopefully we'll have enough time. It is because uh, even though it, even though it costs a lot, it it, it it costs quite a bunch more than I expected. But even though now I don't have to worry about how much it is when it's gonna come, because now it's fucking over. So that's still a good thing because the 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 the. the because the uncertainty about how it's going to go, that was the worst part. Getting it all done... That's fine. Hi, Thunderland, and yes, you did. And it's finally over. The, the insurance company finally got the bill for the roof thing, and we got the bill for the remaining amount, and it's all done now. And... I'm quite pleased about that, because now I don't have to worry about it anymore, about when it's gonna come, how much it's gonna be. But the whole fucking insurance thing, it's now over. Done. Complete. So I'm fucking pleased about that. So yeah, finally things moved forward. I don't have to complain about that anymore. <laughs> ah. Now, let's see if I remember correctly, because that one that was called Hunchback in here was looking for a beautiful daughter. I've seen one lady that I would describe very much as, um... You know. Hi. You wouldn't happen to... No? Okay. Yes. Was the price about what you expected? No, it was a little bit more, actually, because we didn't take into account um, everything, because we expected it was going to be about 30% of the whole price. I, I estimated the full price about correctly. But I just didn't understand the terms of the insurance, because it was 200 plus 30 percent. So, it was, it was a bit more than I expected, but... It's over now. I'm pleased about that. Alright, so, that's not the, that's not the girl then, maybe? God damn it! Oh, hi Thunderland. Shut up, Thunderland! Shut up! You don't know! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I love that sound of that thing. But holy fuck, the body's slow. <laughs> right, anyway, uh, we're now looking for... Haro Specs. We could also talk to Anna. That is true, Thunderlane, but it's still better than what it would have been had we had to pay it in full. Because we do... 
We do try to take advantage of actually having the insurance, so we're gonna get as much money out of it as possible. Instead of just paying for it and letting it be. So that's how they get money. When people the don't do claims. Off me. So ugly. Uh, it's willing to pay. Didn't even have to threaten him or mention your name. On what terms? I beg you, tell me the terms. He wants me to find his daughter in an infected district. I have no idea how to do it, though. Oh, I see. I know who he's talking about. She's not his biological daughter, though. He kidnapped her from a family of poor weavers eight years ago, planning to fashion her into a dancer. But at the eleventh hour, he changed his mind and adopted her. And now he adores her. So, she's disappeared, huh? So, she's a dancer. Yes. Try your luck asking around in the pub. Yeah, I, I know that already. She did this for pleasure, you see. She enjoyed dancing naked and drinking the Twig Twirine. Oh, oh, yeah. I'll, yeah. That's, that's exactly who I thought it is. <laughs> Just had to talk to Anna first. I am kind of concerned about the time that we're going to run out of it. Oh, hey, there's another one. Why are you giving me that look? Is Var the hunchback your father? Did he send you? Yes, he's worried about you. I don't want to go. I'd rather stay here. My stepfather is a burdensome custodian, and I've had enough of it. Don't you love him? Oh, that's a very complicated question. When I was a child, he kidnapped me from my real father. When my father came to rescue me from the caravan, Var killed him. He did it because he loved me. I only found out about it yesterday, so what am I supposed to feel? Oh. What did you... Ah, uh, difficult. Fine. I'll tell him where you are. No, please don't do that. He has no idea where I spend my nights. If he ever gets the slightest hint of suspicion of how I choose to spend my leisure time, he'll tear both the owners and the patrons of this lovely establishment into pieces. <sighs> That's alright, I'll speak to him. Personally. I'll tell him I've had enough. What do you mean? These are the last days of my life, and I intend to spend them the way I like to. That's to say, stay here. But I'll be the person to tell him that. I'll be waiting for you at 9 o'clock in the blind backyard. We'll go see him together. Yeah, uh, just tell me where blind backyard is. Here, let me show you your map. 9 o'clock over there. What time is it? 6. 3 hours. All right. We've spent most of the day and we still haven't really done any other main quest. That's not good. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is going to go well. Like I said, I am quite concerned about the time. That's one of the things about this game. It feels like you're constantly running out of time. That if there's something you don't have enough of, it is time. Because right now, I don't even feel too bad about all kinds of equipment and stuff we can get. Not even of food. The time is the worst. Hmm. It was a bountiful night. Mm, we did really well last night. They say you've arrested Burak, is that true? Absolutely. The villain seized as well. Like I said, the night was bountiful. The patrolmen killed more than 50 armed thugs and 50 more were arrested. Soon they're going to be tried by our military court. Was Burak caught red-handed? If he were caught red-handed, he'd been executed on the spot. Just like everyone else who was caught in the act. There's a whole lot of accusations against him, though. Mark Kaminsky will expose his crimes easily. Well, but I need Burak. He must help me fulfill my duties. Never. 
Burak is accused of a dozen murders at least, including his father's violation of sacred customs and desecration of the dead. He is the most dangerous criminal of all who appeared in the town these horrible days. I won't ever let him out, even if you vouch for him. Well, where do you keep him? Why do you ask? Because I need his advice. I'm sorry, Bachelor, but you've managed to find out who murdered Simon without examining witnesses or seeing the crime scene or even inspecting the body. Which makes me sure that you can do without the savages' advice this time as well. I wish you the best of luck. Well, that sucks. Is the main quest still about stopping the disease? Yes! That's what we're doing. Today's main quest, that is, is still about stopping the disease. We're developing a vaccine with another doctor here. And I need... Uh, and because the traditions of the area uh, disallow almost everybody from actually cutting into people, which means surgery and stuff, and we need a specimen of the disease from a live person, we need to find somebody who's allowed to do that, which is Burak, who is in prison, which kind of sucks. Our main quest is still... Defeating death. That hasn't changed as well. Not since we came here. Ah. Uh, but where the fuck are we supposed to find him? Now that's the real question. Lara Ravel has informed all Gimski. Maybe I need to go talk to Lara Ravel then. Let's go talk to Lara Ravel. Her name is there, so... Who was Lara Ravel again? That was Julia? That's Lara Ravel. Alright, so he wasn't willing to let him go. Which is a shame. He wasn't even willing to tell us where he keeps Burak. Which is a bigger shame. Mm. So we have one name. Lara Ravel. Who's informed of things. So let's run to Lara Ravel. Or walk at a brisk pace to Lara Ravel. And see if she knows more. Problem. Fuck. Infected district. Stay away from me. I don't like those clouds. They seem almost tensioned. Alara. It's nice to see you. We're still alive. How very strange. Please tell me, is the man who witnessed Burak's arrest still here? You mean the harpist? He's dead. Did he tell you where they took Burak? Saw them escort him. Nothing more. He was by the rail bridge. He was seized by Sabrov's patrolmen. There were three of them, and yet they barely managed to keep him under control. When they were crossing the embankment, Burak broke loose as they knocked him to the ground. The harpist said he also thought back then that they wouldn't be able to take him anywhere far. Then he felt sick. Why are the Sabrovs doing that to him? I think he got into Clara's way somehow. The Clara girl seems pretty scary. I guess Artemy must have disrupted her plans, and I doubt she was planning to do good. As for Burak, on the other hand, his noble intentions are apparent. So you hold him in high regard. He turned out to be a very impressive person. The semblance to his father is so strong, and I can't help thinking about him. 
Indeed, he is an honest and brave man. You two would have made good friends. Borak's lair was at the works? I don't know. I've never been there. Although, Isidore did have a hideout or a secret lab at the works. I remember him complaining that it was too old to climb over the embankment ten times a day and the railroad noise could be rather distracting. Thank you. Now I know where to look for Burak. Clouds seem to like being with me, yeah. But Lara always have a facial expression as she... as if she bit in a lemon the moment before. Ah, that's just how... That's just how she is. So... They were... Harry, uh, they were escorting Burak somewhere around here. The somewhere close. Maybe check. These places. If we could find guards. At least that's a plan. We have slightly over two in game hours to go and meet. Uh, Meet with the naked dancer daughter. Well, let's see how this goes. I hope that she doesn't mind waiting for a bit. I don't have time to stop for the kids right now, unfortunately. I wish I did. Then again, I still don't have... Yeah, kill, kill them! I still don't have enough currency. Buy more stuff from the kids. Oh god, the stress is piling up again. <laughs> I know, giving sharp objects to kids. That's a good way to get all kinds of useful stuff. Or peanuts. They also like they they also like having my nuts. Now it's seven. Oh god. Speaking of children, by the way, I've been uh, listening to a lot of the old uh, chick tracked uh, readings by uh, Anna and Jake, previously known as the Bible Reloaded. And I did kind of forget how fucking awful some of them are. I'm at the kind of world of you that's in those tracks. Rising graphics are not that bad compared to Pathologic 2. I haven't played 2, to be honest. Like at all. So, 
But I would assume that it does look better. Ooh, yes. Then again, this is, um, what is it, HD remastered or whatever. So, uh, probably looks better than it used to, maybe. I seriously have no idea where the fuck to look for him. I was kind of hoping I could see some guards or something. Never mind. I just had to go into buildings randomly, apparently. Okay, this is, uh, let's, let's, let's save just in case. Because, the, the, the yeah, this might not end well. Hi! You a trespasser? No, I'm not a trespasser. What about you? Are you by any chance the infamous dangerous offender? What's in it for you? Uh... Ah, uh, which one? I'm here to convoy Burak to the governor's office. It were the case, people in lower rank and heavier build would have come. You know who you are, doctor. You're kindly joking, aren't ya? Nah, I, I, I kinda... Oh. You'd rather do it the hard way. Sure you'll wait. I'm coming back soon with others. Low rank, heavy build, tailored to your preference. Go talk to Grief. Just thought it would be much worse. People would be dramatic. Yeah, I've noticed that because, uh, to be honest, after hearing about the game a little bit, which was the part that got me interested in playing this, I expected this to be a painful playthrough. I, I expected that I would find some things charming, but ultimately... It would be, in a sense, torturous. And kinda meme-worthy. I was wrong. I've actually liked this game. <laughs> oh yes, it's clunky. And... It's very tense. Some of the things are very obtuse. But... Those are also reasons why I like it. It kind of hits the... Just the right notes for me. Ah, fuck. Also, I just remembered one thing. Just one moment. I gotta do... Click it a click from that. There. Kind of forgot that. Whoops. <laughs> I've got one background process on which I wasn't supposed to have. Also, thank you very much, you now visitor to the wonderful country of the total real Finland trademarked. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. Also, if I'm not wrong, I want to check one thing. If I'm not wrong, well, somebody's dropped. Oh, well. Still not 666 follows. Oh well. <laughs> and now I forgot. God damn it. I keep forgetting things. My brain is mush. Next one. There we go. God damn, these buildings all look the same. You have to remember all the things. Which I don't. I have killed a lot of your clones. Where are they taking the stiffs? My, yeah, one that ill that sleeps again, well. The town? Hey, Grief, would you want to, want to kill a few patrolmen? Won't be accountable. Who's to guarantee me that? You. Me. Ah, so what? I mean, I'd like to. I would, Doc. Like I'd ever pass on a chance, but uh, the honey's sweet, but the bees sting. Them patrolling bees are much worse than them worker bees, you know. They hit hard and without a shred of pity. Organized, too. They'll show us no mercy, they won't. Their orders are we deserve no mercy. We deserve being strangled, exterminated, and buried alive. Oh, I need your help. 
Set Borok free and I'll cover for you. Oh, this is a dear kind of help, dear Doc. It won't come cheap. Name your price. 10,000, Doc. I'm doing you a favor here. It's just half the sum. I'll pay the rest from my own pocket. Human life comes kind of cheap these days, don't you agree? Fine. Now where will the forces of justice strike? Gorak's kept in the works in a building that- Oh, got it, I know it. Seller of the corpulent workshop. Roger that. As our forefathers used to say- Where do we meet? Wait for my villains. The attack begins just like that. No warning. Be prepared. It would be a pity for you to miss out. I'll be ready. Don't touch Burak. Do you know what it looks like? We know everything, Doc. He's the guy behind the bars. That's quite simple to know. Little birds tell us every single thing, so now shush. Go to the ambush and wait for us. All right. Hello there. All right, so let's go back there. Fuck, we're, we're gonna have to go meet the daughter soon, so uh, hopefully this ambush isn't gonna take too long. <laughs> this is exactly what I mean. There's that constant feeling of not enough time. It's just running out constantly. After this one, we are going to have to go. We are going to have to go and uh, meet the daughter, so we're going to be at the right place at nine. Then again, we might have also been able to go and tell the hunchback where she was, even though she said nah. Well, we'll see, Cthulhu. I already think it kind of fits the game. So, uh... Okay. Okay, so we're gonna have to fight them as well. And we also can take one punch. Because our health is so fucking low. Holy shit. Alright, so... Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, let's do that part again. There's something positive about redos, though, and that is, I now know exactly what I have to do so I can run directly from one place to another, do the exact thing I have to. And, uh, that's it. Ah, oh, God. <clears throat> At least the game reminded me quite quickly that it is a good idea to just, um, remember to save the game quite often, especially before every major event. So, uh, thank you for the reminder, game. I, I will now better my ways. I'm already saving a couple of seconds because the last time I ran 
into kind of a de de dead end. This time I just got directly here. And then let's see. Where are they taking this? The uh, da -da -da -da. Name your price. Here you go. And I'm ready and bye. And then let's go back. <laughs> ah. This is life. Okay. We're still gonna cut it quite close, but... It saved a little bit of time. That's better than nothing. Because we are gonna then have to... Run all the way over here... When we're done with this one. We're also gonna need more food. But I think we can get that after we've uh, done all the other things we require. So go in, quick save. Ah, oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna have to fight perfectly. Because I don't have time to heal. At least I got a punch in. I didn't dodge out quickly enough, though. Thank you, Thunderland. All right, buddy. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why would you do that? Because I have to. You think, Case? Come on! I was backing out in good time! <laughs> there we go! Thanks for the key, motherfucker. Don't loot the corpses. Oh, come on. That's just unfair. Hi, buddy. Slow and steady wins the race. And so we finally meet Oinon. Onion. Ah, close enough. Just a pair of pawns on this dreadful chessboard where each square is blacker than black itself. Are we friends or are we foes? Will one consume the other or will we part each striving for his own victory? Uh that that sounds that sounds really nice. Um I'm not really in the habit of rejecting an extended hand, but why do I constantly hear you're getting in my way? No, how can we be foes if we're fighting a common enemy? I'm glad to hear you say that, Onion. It's a shame we aren't standing together. I lack your knowledge. 
I am blindfolded and can only follow my heart and my intuition. Here is a piece of advice for you. Don't trust those who volunteer to be your guides on the path to victory. For the real battle is still ahead of us both. You mean the battle against the pest? I mean the battle against you. We may not be foes, but I have a strong feeling that we will end up opposing each other. Each of us will try to tilt the balance to his own advantage. Good point, Thunderline. He's not wearing a blindfold. What the fucking liar. Well, it's too early to tell. How did you find me, Onion? Is I need your help. What kind of help do you need? Before you reply, you must know I'm already about to leave and undertake something rather risky. I have promised to help somebody. Ruben and I need to get a sample of living bacterial culture to make a vaccine. I see. Master Rubin wants to take care of people. I admire that. Will you help us get an infected heart? I will. I'll be working alone, though. Meet me in the blind backyard at nine in the evening. You too! I'll pick out someone whose foot is in the grave already. Take them to a dark corner and start working. Why nine? That's when it gets dark. Darkness offers protection. What if something unexpected happens, like I bring a stripper and her stepfather there, and we end up in a fight? I'll cut open the dying person and start working. They find me, I'll lead the pursuit elsewhere. If that is how the situation unfolds, you'll have to pick the heart from the body yourself. I hope my harvest will be good for Stark and you. Well, I'll find you, Burak. You're kidding me, I, I have two meetings at nine. Well, at least I don't have to wonder... At least I don't have to wonder where I'm gonna go first. I am mildly concerned about those two events happening in the same place at the same time, though, to be honest. <laughs> that, um... Does concern me mildly. And Thunderlane, congratulations, you are now the Schrodinger's drunk. Alright, we have a little bit of time, so let's walk towards our goal and also see if we could find anything nice from either the shops or... ...or the garbage. Either is fine. As long as I can find shops or garbage. You never know, we'll see chaos. I'm, I'm kind of worried that our lovely stripper with a heart of gold is going to get shanked and we're going to have her heart. I'm kind of concerned because that's what the game w could be like. Ooh, nice needles. Don't mind if I do. I am running a little bit low on money though. But I do have these, so... You won't happen to... There we go. I think I need to murder more bandits so I can get them money. Because I've run out of... I, I, I've run out of most of my money, especially since I spent... 10,000... Paying off bad grief. So I'm not in a... I'm not in a super good financial situation anymore. And most of the things I find in the garbage are... Bottles, which I already have a gazillion. Oh, perfect! Oh, come on! 
it's not fair that the guards have punches that steal money from people. Yeah, today has been a very Schrodinger's day, hasn't it, Gina? Remember reading that? You put in another bit effect. I missed the last room. Yeah, I, I put, a, put another bit effect. It should trigger at 200. Is that, and I, there now should be effects for 100 bits and 200 bits. Keyword being should. The point is... I, I changed it. I, I changed the way the triggers work, and now they should be, you know, exact numbers. So I, I, I don't know for sure if they work, but if they won't, I'll quickly fix it. All right, almost there, and it's almost nine. Let's see if we can find more needles from here. So th these guys tend to sell... Ah, uh, shame. These guys sometimes sell stuff that I can um, then give to the kids for their schmouders and stuff. Oh, Clothier! Those guys give the needles. Sorry, I'm, I'm an idiot. There we go. Thank you for that. Now we should have enough, I hope, some schmouders. Hey, what about the problem of evil? That is a good question. It is always a difficult question to answer, especially for the more religious types. Is that can be a bit difficult of a problem. Oh, for fuck's sake. He's dead. Now, this is bullshit. I'm gonna go up. <laughs> okay, it does work. <laughs> Thank you, Thunderlane, for your 200 biddies. It is very much appreciated. Thank you so much for your support. Here is the West Barak. I do know now that I want to go back and complain to the fucking, uh, what's his face? The dude murdered. The dude murdered her. I bet. Where the fuck did he live again? That's where the hunchback is. Unless. Oh, please. Oh, no, 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 please, no. Did the game do exactly what I thought it did? It did. I fucking told you the game is going to do exactly this. Uh. Well, she did. And now we have to get to Ruben. I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but I know that Burak knew there was going to be somebody there at 9, which was her, and got her heart. 
problem, though. That also means that he knew that she was infected. Which is another big problem. I, I, I don't understand anything anymore. Point is, she's dead and we have her heart. I was kind of hoping we would have her heart in some other kind of way, but... Um, that was not to be, apparently. Sometimes the don't steal my heart part is actually literal. If I wasn't in a hurry, I would have gone there to punch the goddamn bandit dude. That could really use with the money from them. Also, yeah, since the 200 thingy worked, that means that the 100 thingy should also work. Because they use basically the same trigger. So I'm learning how to use cruise control, and I'm really fucking happy about that, actually. Because that's given me an opportunity to add, well, for example, that. I couldn't have done it before I learned how to use cruise control. Hi. It'll take them a long time to find me here. <clears throat> Oh, this is it, Doctor. It seems we have exactly what we need. We have brought the bacteria into the light. This writhing, horned abomination. We can look at it now and maybe even give it a name. We're going to have to go to the Inquisitor empty-handed. So, last iteration was different from the previous ones. The vaccine will be ready by tomorrow morning. Where did you get the specimen? Uh, Burak gave it to me. Blood is unusual. Just did you ask him how he came across it? Didn't it have the chance to? Oh. You know, Bachelor, it's strange. I think I've le learned to tell the character of a person by their blood specimen. He has the blood of an egotist. This one belonged to a poet. The owner of this blood was exhausted, and whoever gave this specimen was destined to become a great person. Well, this blood is extraordinary. So now what? Now I'll begin to produce the vaccine. I wonder how many hearts it would take to make enough doses. The technology itself is what matters. We'll report our findings to the Inquisitor and let him get the components. For all, it's not... Is it not the reason he was delegated here? Fair enough. Come tomorrow early in the morning, or even tonight. The vaccines will be ready for testing. How's it gonna work? I don't know yet. The solution needs to be tested. However, given that it's not really a vaccine, but rather a preventative medicine, which is... What vaccines are. I would accept its effect to be temporary. It won't predict the inoculated person forever. Oh, better than nothing. A little bit, yeah. Sunset. Alright, so. I think that's it then. Now. What else? We couldn't find her. Ass assuming that... Is the the lady whom we were supposed to meet. Next thing is to go to the hunchback, who'll probably be pretty angry. And we should have maybe gone to see him before. Would really trust him with this task? Do we have a choice? <laughs> now that's another question. Not oh, for fuck's sake. So many dead ends. Hi. Alright, so it was... very close to our home, actually.
I got food. Yes, you do. Fish, please. Thanks. Not gonna buy a lemon, though. Perfect. Just taking care of our needs a little bit. Because that's a good thing. I'm also trying to keep an eye on uh, some of the bandits because uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Because getting some bandit money would be good. Oh, for Ah, oh, for fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, oh, for fuck, fuck, fuck! Okay, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I don't want to get infected again. I'm going to try and avoid it as long as possible. Because the infection... was a really awful mechanic to have on us. So I'd rather avoid it. Problem, of course, is that... Uh, our routes back home are... Oh, fuck's sake. Partially blocked. Alright, let's take the other bridge and hope for the best. It is taking us way too much time. Go around this. I don't even know if the hunchback is there anymore. It could be that I should have gone to meet him immediately after we talked to... ...his daughter. That's just another one of those things where I wonder... ...where I wonder... If I should just reload and replay, or should I allow this to go on? That's one of the things the game does make me do a lot. Question my choices, and wonder whether I should just... ...reload and redo some things that I may have fucked up. Hi. At least you're still here. Well, I've come bearing grave news. He's sick. Uh, no, she's kind of dead. Oh, did you get infected? Oh, she was murdered. Oh, it's not your fault, but someone's fault it is. Someone's been touching her, holding my lovely thing with their pestle and pesty hands, kissing her with their hollow black mouth, a pit of a mouth. Things are going south. Oh no, pity for the pity mouths. I'll avenge the sweet thing. We'll find the person that's done this to her. We'll find them all, pity mouths. I shall found a brotherhood of zealots and we shall burn them all to ashes. It will be fun. Great fun. Yeah, that's that's that that's good. There's there's all, already quite a bunch of zealots, okay? I know, they're killing normal healthy people. We're gonna burn the best. I'm praying to have the chance to burn the pity mouth. The person that touched her tender knees last, I pray I get the chance to burn the person alive before the sand plagues burn them in from the inside. 
Take that snatched my girl away from me. I'll burn it. Burn it. Burn it to her. She's burning to the ground. That's the most idiotic way to fight the epidemic that I can think of. Well. Okay, that was not good. I've now made a permanent save, and I want to check one thing. Just one thing. Because that doesn't seem like... That doesn't seem good. Let, let's be completely honest here and say that that doesn't seem good. Like it all. But I don't know if I can prevent it. <laughs> like it all. So instead... um. Let's let's see what happens if I do the thing that I I suggested before. Cause that does not sound like a good idea to me. I, that might be what's gonna have to happen because the last time I did this and I was okay. This is not good, and I wanted to replay one thing. The end result was the exact same. So um, I'm not hopeful. But doing this shouldn't take too long. Let's just go talk to Anna, find out about the dancer, go talk to the dancer, then return immediately to the hunchback and see what happens if we do that. Alright, food. Food is good. Now we don't have to worry about hunger, at least, for this try. Ah, okay, that was not good. He's not just lost one sandwich, he lost the entire picnic. That's a good saying. <laughs> catch a rat or a mouse yeah, in the Yeah, didn't have to and dancer and blah blah blah. I'll ask around the pub. Then again, when I really think about it, I don't think the other option is a good option either. Yeah, your dad, come with me, let you know. All right, tell me where it is, nine o'clock. Because, you know, the other option is... Um, the other option is basically having her be locked up with a very mentally stable human being. And I don't like imagining how that would go, either. So yeah, this game is full of cheery options. Uh, <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I do understand why people call this a depressing game, at least. There don't... There doesn't seem to be any good options. For anything. Like, okay. At least now we know that... If she dies... The hunchback dude is going to get drawn into a murderous rage where he wants to enact basically a genocide on the town because everybody's evil and they have to burn. Uh, 
But then again, let's consider the alternative. If we are able to tell him where the daughter is and he's going to go pick her up. That's going to be really awful for her. As in really fucking horrible, and I think it would be better for her if she was dead. But at least the hunchback wouldn't be running around wanting to burn the entire town down, so... You know, it's, uh... Now, this is a problem of evil. <laughs> the entire fucking game. Whatever we do, it feels evil. Also, those window thingies kind of look like aliens. Yeah, that's, uh... Let's see what happens if we're going to continue this or if I'm going to load the other permanent save. Hi. Yeah, I found your willow. I'll bring her here after nine o'clock. Should I tell him or not? See, I've given my word. They're afraid of you. You might get infected. The victims of the infections are everywhere, ready to jump. Burn them to ashes to keep them away from the fresh flesh. Okay, so... I've basically scammed 50,000 out of the guy now. So I do think I have to continue playing this one. Fucking 50,000. And she's still gonna die. And he's still gonna go into a murderous rage. But now I have his money. Exactly. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Also, I forgot to go talk to... Let's go talk to her, then her, and then... No, her, then him. See, this is what I mean about not fucking learning English pronouns. They just don't come as natural thing to me. We're gonna go talk to Lara Ravel, then we're gonna go talk to Andrei Saburov, then we're gonna go rescue Burak, the Harospex. Then we're gonna go grab the heart. Of the stripper. I'd kind of want to reload the game, but then again, now I have 50,000 more. Because... This doesn't change what's going to happen. Like at all. It's still gonna be fucking awful. The, the lady's still gonna die. The hunchback is still gonna go into a murderous rage, wanting to purge the city. But... I did get 50,000.
Don't you dare infect me. And 50,000 is a lot of money. It's gonna be fucking awful. Yeah, pretty much. The story of pathologic in a nutshell. It's nice to see you. Okay, about Burak's arrest. Uh, da, 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 da. Burak's in the works. Thanks, I know where to look for him. That is true. Now, also, somebody else might die as well. Absolutely correct, Thunderlane. I'm being way too positive about this all. I mean, things could get worse. Now, to Sabrov, then to free the Haru Specs, then to get the heart, bring it back to what's his face. Got plenty of time. That is true. It is pathologic. Things will get worse. That's not even a question. That's like an in inevitability. But hey, I, I did get 50,000 now, so... Uh, 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 I feel kind of bad about that. Kinda. But only kinda. Yeah, she's gonna die anyway, right? And he's gonna go insane anyway. So why wouldn't I take advantage of it? Like, seriously. If things are going to get fucked anyway, why wouldn't I profit from that? It's not like it's gonna make their lives any worse. Like, the dude's loaded. We were told he's fucking rich as fuck. Yes. It's like I would take ten it's like I would take hundred thousand from Jeff Bezos. I mean, it's not like he's gonna fucking notice. Yes, 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 you did. Okay, and you're not gonna talk to me anymore. Alright, that's fine. It's a shame you didn't go to the hunchback after you got a heart. You want her? Yes, she is. <laughs> I've been inside her. <laughs> Oh, God, I wish the game lets me do that. Of course, the only problem is I don't... The only reason why I didn't do that was actually for a purely practical reason. And the purely practical reason was we were given 30 minutes to run it to Ruben. So I didn't have time to do those uh, side thingies. But that would be fucking amazing. Just think about it. Here's your daughter. Do -dum, do -dum, do -dum. <laughs> I'm sure he'd react well. Definitely wouldn't try to murder me violently. Alright, we're still gonna need to also sleep pretty well tonight. Because our health is very fucking low. But at least now I know exactly what to do, which means we should have more time during the day. I just need to find a way into the machine yard. Because it was with building three where they were. I do have to get there again. Then I have to go to bad grief. Then I have to come back here. And then pretty much all I can do is go to the north. For the heart. After which, a quick run back to Rubens. And that's it. That should be all the day's deeds done. Uh, 
There we go. We're back here. Not a trespasser. Convey. Getting big guys. Thank you. Bye. Still got plenty of time, and we've actually done more things than we did the last time. Partially because now we didn't have to think about what to do, because we could just run from one place to another, knowing exactly what we're gonna do. And we made fucking 50,000 by talking to the hunchback. So that's a good amount of money. So technically we managed to improve the situation a little bit. Not not for anybody else, no, but um, for us. And after all, Pathologic has taught us that uh, that is all that matters in the end. After all, our main quest still remains investigating our lifelong goal of defeating death. Despite this pandemic, that mission has not changed. I find that Rather actually kind of amazing as well. A war unusual. And let's do it all. Here's the money. And done. Because to me, it, it, here's why I here's why I like it. Because to me, the. The fact that our actual main mission has not changed. It hasn't gone away and it hasn't changed. Despite the town being ravaged now by an extremely lethal pandemic. To me that kind of gives to the character of The Bachelor a little bit of extra depth. In a sense that... It's kind of a subtle, I, I think, I, I don't know, of course, if it's on purpose, but to me, it's kind of a subtle way to show to the player what's actually important for The Bachelor. Because all of this pandemic stuff that's going on, even though it is currently very important to solve, but it's not important for the bachelor to solve because there's a pandemic and the people need to be helped. It's important to solve the pandemic because it stands in the way of defeating death. It's an obstacle, it's not the main thing. At least that's how I kind of see it. <clears throat> this kind of sucks. I was backing up all the time and he still managed to hit me. See? That's what I mean. Ah. Holy shit, that guy's got reach. Okay, fine. Okay, I don't think I have... Okay, fine, I have to do that. I thought they were... Oh, never mind. Just look at that fucking reach. It's one punch and I'm dead. Yeah, stay away. There we go. Much better. 
In truth, we're not... Ah. Uh. And then infected heart. And I'll find you. There we go. <laughs> Fuck, those guards are good fighters. Well... I wouldn't necessarily say good, but holy fuck, they have reach. Alright. Now it's already 8, which means we're gonna have to go back north, get the heart. Then go bring it to Ruben. And then our quests for the day should be complete. Get the I'm trying. I was uh, I was trying to back out all the time and it's he still managed to hit me. I I, I feel like fighting the guards is much and and it's kind of weird because it feels like the guards have a higher um reach than the bandit guys. But the bandit guys have a weapon. They've got a knife. That should give them more reach. But apparently having a knife actually takes away your reach. That's their mistake. That's why those big guys lost to the guards. They should have just fought with fists. It all makes sense now. Ah, oh, crap. I thought I could get through from there. Is there a way to the backyard from here? Nope. God damn, the, the town is full of dead ends that I'm just supposed to try and remember. I wouldn't necessarily call them trained because most of them were just... Uh, most of them were just quickly hired by decree. Granted, they are probably people who want to do that, or, or are at least somewhat adept, adept at doing that. They're not... most of them really shouldn't be trained guards, as far as I remember. <clears throat> and it's almost nine. Let's go to the clothing shop, then just to see if we can buy needles. Then grab the heart, take it to Rubin, and the day is done. Other than maybe looking for people to punch, but right now we don't have that much of a need for money. We already ate, so we mostly need time to heal. Thanks for the hook. There's the corpse. I'm so sorry, lady, but... That's death. Alright, so what's the best way to get to Ruin now? That spot's infected. Can we just run from here? I think one of those areas infected, I don't even remember. But the waterfront seems to be the best option anyway. So let's run, 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 run to run. Right. I'm jumping back quite a bit, but uh, I was about to talk about chick tracks and how awful they were. 
There, there again, one of those things that I, of course, have never seen in real life because I don't live in the United States. But some of the messages in those things were fucking awful because... I don't think I've really listened to them with that ear before as much. It's been more about laughing at them because they're fucking stupid and inconsistent in their own uh, worldview. But now that I've th really thought about it, some of them are really have a really fucking horrible worldview if you think. Because they're supposed to teach you what is true, basically, about God and all that kind of stuff. You know, true in the view of uh, the creators of the tracks, which used to be mostly Jack Chick. And sometimes that worldview is fucking horrifying, and I can't imagine how it would be to live and actually think that that's the world. Or even less to think that it's a fucking just world, and a just and good thing that these things happen. There's, for example, this tract which was called, uh, was it Me in a Mama? About a really, you know, a really shitty... Really shitty person in a moo moo. Has three kids. Divorced. Gets an inheritance and stuff. Refuses to get saved. I'm on my last legs. I can't take it anymore. So... What the chick track then implies... Is that God directly... Kills that woman's three kids. Who are also not saved, which means all of those three kids are going to go to hell. And all of that was so the fat, horrible woman could get saved and not go to hell. So Jack Chick thought it's a good thing if God would kill somebody's kids and send them to hell so they could get saved. Like, what the fucking shit? <laughs> I don't very dance. Ah. Uh. There we go. Now the daily quest is done again, and we have 50,000 more than we had previously. Perfect. Which means... Since we're here, let's go talk to Vlad the Younger. With whom we talked about releasing the prisoners before. I think that's done already, but we're right next to him, so might as well do that. Not like we're going to lose anything. Main point is we are going to have to start going towards home. Pop a little bit of morphine and uh, go to bed. So we'll heal properly for tomorrow. Because I've got no fucking idea what tomorrow is going to bring us. But knowing this game, I don't expect anything good. <laughs> Well, I expect that we're still going to enjoy it in a sick fucking way, but I don't expect good in the traditional sense. It's going to be good in the sense that I'm going to enjoy it. It's not going to be good in the sense that anybody in this world is going to enjoy. Hi, buddy. Your most important mission is saving people. Do something. I'm being locked up in J-League while it's being sent to the gallows. Yeah, I've paid for several people. What about the rest? They were bailed out by an anonymous, uh, anonymous benefactor. I actually suspected it was you. Rainbow, thank you very much for spreading the wonders of the North. How you doing? Several dozen. Uh, it wasn't the hunchback you said, I was it? I have no idea. Why are you so worried? When those people were arrested, they were law-abiding and decent. One day later, they're criminals and rebels. Now, it would only take a single word of dissent from any of them to abandon all laws except for the laws of survival. 
Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, thank you. That means our reputation went up. So it was actually good. Maybe we should then go talk to the, um... What's his face, Kane? The other guy from whom we got money to, uh... Read the prisoners. Assuming I can get there without being infected, that is. How goes the emotionally grinding misery? Uh, it's going forward. We just scammed 50,000 from a guy, basically. So I wanted to see if I could, you know, get things a little bit less depressing. No, it just got more depressing. Because now I'm also a scammer. Because I know that the lady who we were supposed to bring to the guy was gonna die anyway, so I just took the money. Even though he would probably argue that the kids won't go to hell since that stuff doesn't apply to children below some Oh no 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 Thunderlane. He fucking thinks everybody's going to hell. Period. Every single person. Trust me, even kids. He's got specifically tracts that are telling kids if you don't get saved now, you're gonna go to hell even if you die now. Somebody's gonna rape you in the fucking ass and kill you in the because they're pedophiles and then they're gonna go to hell if it weren't saved. So yeah, he thinks children go to hell. Ah. <laughs> uh. Seen enough of the game to know you're sensitive to how to break playing it before too long. Yeah, it's uh You're under constant tension with this one. That much is for sure. It is far easier to be wise for others. Let the devil than take a governor so like that. Oneself. Although I'm not sure what I would have done in his place, his position is far over enviable. I've bailed out all the survivors. How many were left? I bailed out six. Several dozen more were bailed out by someone who chose to remain anonymous. Young old Gims perhaps? I don't know. Well, we have done a good thing. Certainly. <laughs> Yay! Then again, to be fair, Thunderlane, he would argue nothing anymore, because, uh, you know, he's dead. But, uh... <laughs> and, yeah, point is... Trying to piece it all together about what kind of a worldview somebody has, it's fucking weird and disgusting sometimes. <laughs> Granted, he would still probably argue that Thunderlane sometimes, but it's because he's fucking inconsistent. Like, seriously. Hi, how's it going? Horrible. Oh, I have a terrible Our headache. Well, oh, yeah. Just grab some quinine, then. I'm gonna go drink some morphine and go to bed. Assuming I have morphine. What kind of drugs do I have? I do have metadorm and morphine. Let's pop that, and go to bed. I can sleep for six hours at a time? Oh well. There we go. The day is over. Timely of us allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. Perfect. Remain unharmed. A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theater. Perfect. See, that means we did good. That also means I'm going to make a new save. For the next day. I actually went to class at your old church teaching us how to spread the word and try to save people. Part of us was giving out tracts, but not any that serious. Yeah. Uh, I think... I, 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 I do think that... Um, Jack Chick's tracts... Not all of them are... Dis not all of them are nearly that disgusting. Some of them are. Not all of them. And I'm sure he's definitely not the only one. The reason he's become a bit of an internet thing is because he's of the extreme end. 
is of that extreme end that his tracts are banned in Canada. At, at least. Maybe even in more places, who knows. So yeah, it's... Um, It's just like the internet, you know. It's the extreme examples that get publicity because it's nice to point and laugh. Also, I think I just loaded the wrong... Yeah, I loaded the wrong game. That was the right game. It took me... Actually, surprisingly long to understand that some people actually took religion seriously because I was never gr uh, I, I was never you know raised in a religious household, nor did religion really play any part in my life other than some mentions on you know like. Uh, movies or something like that so i always kind of assumed it was just one of those fiction things like you know whatever other thing on tv and nobody actually was like that but then i found out that i was wrong and then i thought that maybe i should find out more Granted, I still never became religious, on the contrary, I maybe became even more staunch in not believing in any of that. But it's again one of those things where I still want to understand at least a little bit. More moderate and uh, more extreme. So here we are. So much blood was spilled. Spilled? You mean by accident? Something you had nothing to do with? It had to be done so that we could move forward. We're on the path to victory. Don't you agree? We are. Now we know how to fight Sanpest for real. False rumors have been disproven. It's no demon. These are just tiny particles that die quickly if they can't bite into hot blood. People fear Katarina's prophecy. People only fear bloodshed when it's their blood and their shed. Blood. Blood is nothing but a nutritional medium. He who sows blood reaps a ripe harvest. One is a fugitive, another is a doctor. The bachelor and the harrow specs, the bachelor and the harrow specs. Hi, how's it going? Even the wisest of men. Yeah, now isn't it a good time to talk? Okay, fine. Fuck you then. <laughs> I was full into Jeebus for a while when I wasn't questioning it. When uh, I turned my introspection towards religion, I left. Yeah, that, that's what I've heard from some people. And again, it's not one of those, yeah, yeah, lol, 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 religious people are stupid. I was just pointing out that for me, it was actually a surprise to find out that people actually believed all that kind of stuff. Because I, it just never came up in my life. And to me, it kind of seemed silly. How are you doing, Zachary? Also, I'm going to take a short little break. I'm going to pick myself a little bit more to drink because my water is running out. And um, then we're going to continue with uh, day six.
which means I should maybe also retitle the thing. There we go. All right. Anyway, I will be right back. So, see you in a moment. The second blood is still the first, yes, because it's the first blood from another person. So, every person has their first blood. All right. So, let's see what day six will bring with it. I also like it. Day five achievement. 7.1%. Of players have this achievement. It seems very much a game that um, quite a few people own. Relatively few have actually played. The fuck was that sound? Ah! Is that what the movie was about? A woman having a first period? No, it was about a lot of people getting shot. For the first time. Like a virgin Shot for the very first time Like a Viet Cong Getting shot yeah, Americans really like the Vietnam movies where uh, They actually didn't lose everything Ooh, that's money. Ooh, that's even more money. I wish I'd find a shop and sell that shit. I still wonder, is it Bad Grief who would sell us weapons and stuff? Because I've seen ammunition for a lot of other guns than just the pistol. But I haven't seen any other guns yet. So I'm kind of wondering. Since we still have a bit of time before the day actually b begins, but I could go see Bad Grief, and we also need to go and find more food soon. So that much is that much is also certain. Come on, don't get in the way. Ow. 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 No, that, that wasn't clap worthy. I lost shit tons of health in, on one enemy.
Game. Come on. What's going on? There we go. Don't get in don't get in between two people fighting. That's stupid. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Come. On. I need to get back into the groove of the fighting. I I I I did pretty well <laughs> sometimes. Like, I was, I, I, I had learned how to fight those guys without actually getting hit, but right now, it feels like... <laughs> there we go. Use innocent people as diversions. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's that's good. Okay, so now this area is infected. Hi. Of course, in that one shortcut, there's a fucking infected spot. I should have known. That's what this game is. Exactly. That's exactly what this game is. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Because I want to go see Bad Grief and see if he sells me guns. That's why. Alright, so first, that one moved. And now it hit me. For fuck's sake. I... with you I, I'm kind of retarded oh fuck. now it was really fucking fast holy shit it just poofed and got me like immediately holy shit It's perfectly fine. You'll be fine. Jesus. Holy shit. You know you've got plate clouds outside. Uh, I'm gonna need something from under your counter. There we go. He's selling a rifle. 17,000. That's a bit expensive. Those, those, those are a bit, those are a bit spensy. A little bit, a little bit spensy, yeah. Like, like really, fu holy fucking shit. What if I just, um... Sell you all the junk I found. On some crowbars, I don't do anything with those anymore, I think. Yeah, just, uh, just, just keep it. At least I know for sure that I can buy weapons from him. There we go. 
I just wanted to check that and it ended up being more difficult than I expected. <laughs> now... The other important thing. Food. All I need to do is remember where I can actually buy it from, because my memory about the layouts is not good. I, I just tend to bump into shops as I walk. That's kind of been my MO for, well, the entirety of the game. <laughs> I remember that was a... Uh... Where the fuck... Oh, was it that one? I think it's that one. That's a shot. Like, are these different colored ones shops? Oh, right, I forgot to read the evening letter. And so the microbe was captured. Formula for the vaccine discovered. Judging by the reports, we have received this keystone of your strategy to halt the outbreak. However, if you would allow us to remind you of the conditions of our agreement, your strategy should also accomplish the final goal, which is to reveal the source of the disease and destroy it, to make a reemergence of the epidemic impossible. We gave you a word that you will wipe the disease from the face of the earth, and this is something we would like to count on. Even more so since your investigation of the carrier hypothesis suggests that the outbreak was a matter of contingency. We approve of the direction your investigation has taken. Everything seems to be in line with the expectations we had for you. The only circumstance we found regrettable is that you did not manage to destroy the creature earlier. We hope that you will deal with the source of the infection tomorrow. After it is done, you should report your success to the Inquisitor and return to the capital. Back at the Fanatical Laboratory, you will find special decree permitting you to proceed with your private studies as well as equity to provide for whatever research costs you may incur. See, and that is the motivation for The Bachelor. The permission and funding to proceed with his own research. There we go. Nice. Oh, fuck. Fuck face. Ow. Ah! That's more like it. Now, we've yet to receive anything, so... Time to just wait, I guess. Let's go back towards home and see if we can, you know, uh, talk to Evian, for example. Maybe to the Canes. Go talk to some of the major players. See if they have anything for us, basically.
I'm just kind of unsure about how much um, we're going to have to do today. Some days have been more busy than others. Some days have started to just give me more difficult things, so to speak, in other senses. That's okay. I no. found a way. I'm almost happy now, my dear Everything Daniel. Everything is going to be just fine. You'll see. I found a way to help you, but hush. For now, it's a secret. Well, you have a peculiar look in your eye, as though if you were not quite yourself. Have some sleep. You must be exhausted. So. I wonder what kind of a surprise she's going to have in store for us. Oh, right, we should also go and um, get the new vaccine, which should help us stay immune for a while, I guess. That's what the previous one gave us. Maybe case. The true way to be deceived is to think oneself more knowing than others. So yesterday you managed to capture this disease, or so I've heard anyway. The town is abuzz with horrifying rumors of people being dissected alive. Obviously I don't believe those. The more dangerous kinds of rumors are, it turns out, those about you acquiring a sample of infected blood. Quite so. The bacterium has been caught and encased in glass. Didn't do it on my own, though. I had help. More importantly, they say that you're now able to track down the shape-shifting disease carrier. Comparing their blood to the sample you obtained yesterday, if they are one of the townsfolk, it can't be hard to recognize this. Also true. This is a witch hunt in the making. As if dim with it black guards murdering women in the streets wasn't enough. It seems that our governor is now inclined to extend his greedy reach towards this town's more notable people. Several young women stand accused after the cathedral business. We'll get ourselves infected! Hooray! <laughs> that would not surprise me, though, Cthulhu. What happened at the cathedral? A disease carrier got into the cathedral last night. Everyone inside perished. Oh, yes, yes. Making it past your impregnable quarantine. Human or spirit, it's very clear now that this is an individual who can walk and is probably quite malicious. Many people are reveling in this particular certainty. How so? An inquisitor arrives tomorrow. It seems to me that someone wants to dispose of several young women before he is coming. Presently, the Sword of Justice hangs suspended above Yuli and Lara. They have been arrested on Savarov's authority, but uh, Vlad Gimsky hasn't been idle either. The girls survive until tomorrow. The Inquisitor will establish the truth, but someone is eager to get ahead of him. Yulia and Lara. That's not good. If they survive, what do you mean? Have you heard about the Zealots, the Exterminators? They're bent on burning the town clean of disease, shouting something about the purifying fire. Whoops. <clears throat> if someone passes names of these young women to the mob, they're doomed. They will burn in their own homes. What can be done to help them? The Oligimskis claim they can prove the girl's innocence. Perhaps they already know who the real culprit is. Somehow, I have no doubt about that. I've heard the criminal is being kept inside the termitary. Yeah, we don't know anything about the zealots that are talking about a purifying fire. Nothing at all. We know nothing. <coughs> anyway, um... <laughs> Ah, uh, the old Gimskis claim they can prove the girls in- Yeah, I'll see, I'll talk to old Gimski then. Now I'm kind of imagining that one scene from Simpsons. 
Except it's completely different. It's almost half your nose, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Stupid idiot Denkowski. Right, so apparently two two ladies we know are now being threatened by purifying fire. Which kinda makes me worried now. Because that means there's purifying fire in town, which means there's likely people who are wearing a wielding fire. Burning things. And people. That's my worry now. Oh, great. Another one of those. What's that? Morning of the sixth day has come. Infected 191, died 148, gone missing 20, deaths 888, currently infected 331. The all ends in less than seven days. Day six, in which the bachelor is offered several possible sources of the infection to choose at his discretion. How you doing, Rasta Bayris? A motherfucker! Ow! Stop stabbing me! And die! Thank you! We still have over 50% health, that's good, right? Old Gimski, that's where I'm going. Great, just drank some tea, that sounds nice. Oh, and of course they're in an infected area. Why wouldn't they be in an infected area? Because of course they're in an infected area. When would the game put me in missions that are not in infected areas? Could you give me some sharp items I can sell to children? Thank you. What? Okay, that's different. Why was that a red pillar of whatever the fuck? Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's um they're apparently throwing uh, Molotov cocktails then. That's 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 nice. That's real nice. Oh, God. Me no gusta. Holy shit. It's a hugging cloud. Hug it and something magical will happen. Yeah. Fuck. Outsider! Come to the Inquisitor. Yeah, I've been quick saving occasionally because fuck this game. <laughs> <Or is it laughs> eh? <laughs> Do you know what happened at the cathedral? Oh yes. Sabarov insists it could have been either Lara or Yulia. I'm sure both are innocent though. Either Anna Angel or a criminal harborer called as uh, Speedy must be the culprit. Am I correct in assuming you must be familiar with both of those ladies? Makes you think so. We have sufficient proof that warrants examination. One of them is the carrier, the man-eater, that Georgie's men were hopelessly looking for on the very first day. However brilliant your discovery was, it made them give up on the hunt erroneously. First and foremost, we need to find Burak. Burak's disappeared. There's not a single word from him, and there's no time to lose. The Inquisitor will be here any day now, and heads will roll. What does that have to do with me? Oh, pray pardon me. Instead of connecting two glaring facts and realizing two enemies are indeed one, you were too rushed to consider them two different entities. Probably thought that a murderous man either and a lethal disease are mutually exclusive. Oh, 
Aren't you too rash to accuse me of being rash, respectable master Vlad? The careful bachelor, my teeth are sharp too. I know the law. The powers that be hold your life in the palm of their hand. If the one who caused the catastrophe slips away due to your actions, oh my goodness, I do not envy you. I see. Go ahead and lynch the beauties yourself, can't sir. I want no part of this. We have been informed that one of them visited the termitary two days prior to your arrival. Do examine them, Dankovsky. Look deeply into their blood. You're the only one who can tell the human being from a creature. Point at the offender and the rest will live. I'll do just that then. Fine. Okay, that doesn't sound good. Olgimsky is certain that both Anna and Espiri are guilty. Could it be avarice that drives this conclusion rather than common sense? Perhaps he's right to an extent. Both women are indeed suspicious. I must examine their blood against the sample we obtained yesterday, and everything will come to light then. As pity. That person? As pity is a woman? Well, I learned something new today. <laughs> I thought she was a kid. I thought she was like some teenage dude, but apparently she's a woman. Well, I've learned new things. Since we're here, let's go talk to what's her face. What's There's your name again? Peculiar smell on the outside. What is this? The Firestarters are planning to attack the Termitary. Did you know that? Why? They want to burn out the infection. They believe that this is where it's crawling from. You can hear the most horrible rumors about the Termitary these days. And my father doesn't even want to move a finger. Well, he could probably take advantage of the arson if someone was to set the Termitary afire. Do not say so. Oh, I really, really want to believe that... that Father has nothing to do with this terrible plan. How'd you find out about it? My brother somehow did. He seems to care, truly. He's dying to stop them personally, but he doesn't yet know how. I only hope there will be no dying. Well, I'll talk to him. Whoever that is. Who's your brother? Oh, right. Uh, Vlad the Younger. Of course. So, a lot of places to go. Hello, last burning. Own poop. Uh, okay, I... I am confused, but then again, I most often am. Ah... <laughs> uh. Again, it's hard to decide where to go first. Maybe I should do this kind of a route. Okay, never mind. That cloud decided for me. I'm gonna go see young lad first. <laughs> what the fuck is that sound? Somebody's screaming like an animal. It doesn't sound good. And I don't understand. All I know is that it doesn't sound good. Ah! I guessed you were there, you stupid cloud. Maybe a little bit. Ah, crap, I'm stuck. This is the right route to you, younger Vlad. Let's see what he knows about people trying to burn down the termitary. Then let's go get some blood. Because apparently that's what we're gonna do now. 
well, it's still better than yesterday when we got a heart. Where did those lazy bastards go? Oh, the exterminators are planning to storm the territory. Stop them. How? Well, you can't stop the assault itself, but the informers who reported that to my, um, to me, said that 10 o'clock, Var, the Hunchback, and a few others will be around there to scout the area and look for a way to pry open the barricaded entrance. You mean to say they reported to your father? At 10 o'clock? They're going to gather at the territory's entrance after dark. But the hunchback approaches the hall, hall where he needs to be shot. I think it would be best to lie and wait there. All this time I've been looking for someone brave enough to do this for a sizable reward. Reward from your father, maybe? No, from me personally. 10,000. Alright, I'll talk to your father. Okay, so I need to murder the hunchback then. At 10 o'clock. Let's go back to B Big Ladder then, and then get some, uh... Oh god, I hope we're gonna get a rifle for this. That'd be cool. Because I, I thought about buying a rifle, but... It'd be even better if we would be an assassin and get a free gun. I know it's not that much of a Harold Penisman thing to give free guns. It's more of a free drugs thing, but... I wouldn't mind a free gun either. Maybe even a tinier gun. How you doing, Shen? Yes. Yes, Shen. Freedom, drugs, and tiny guns. The important things in life. Laughing at Fessor rage quitting? What did Fessor rage quit then? I've been very confused again. And out of the loop. Especially as and Fuck I say. Rage quit Final Fantasy V? Why? And now, now, now I really want to know. Trying to dodge the bloody disease. Final Fantasy V isn't stupid. I like Final Fantasy V. Who You're all wrong. Defile Victoria's tomb. Oh wait, yeah, I haven't done this. <clears throat> Even if they had catapults, they wouldn't be able to do damage to the walls. The Termitary can withstand straight line artillery bombardment. Well, what if they get inside? Then they'll regret it bitterly. For goodness sake, why don't you get back to looking for the carrier, Doctor? If we figure out who the bitch is tomorrow, you'll leave the town a winner. And the Inquisitor will take the townsfolk's lives into his skilled hands, including the lives of Termitary's inhabitants. So, what you're saying is you're planning to do exactly nothing. Won't move a finger. What could I possibly undertake? All my servants, mercenaries, and household members who still have the courage and the strength to meddle with this sort of affairs, well, some of them are dead and others have joined the bandits. Bandits? My household is not the only source of those. The Kane's fellows have started a gang too. They're mugging marauders. Despair is making everyone grab their knife. They're fighting each other already. Is that so? Because you're not going to help shit. That much I know now. But I do have to shoot the hunchback. So that's at least a thing. Everything's a gimmick and fuck everything. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry to hear you didn't like it, Fessa. I remember liking five. So now, let's go get blood from young women. Because, uh, that's a thing we do. And I'm infected again. Fuck, I hate this infection thing. Uh... Did 
It got to load again. Yes, Shan. Uh, also, Thunderlane made that joke about Rambo before, so... Ha! <laughs> You're not the first person making a period joke today. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking amazing when the infection spawns right on top of you, Cthulhu. Can I get around it from this side? Barely. Thank fuck. Exactly, you're not the first j person making a joke. Period. I've tried making some, but I haven't succeeded today. Maybe a little bit later. Okay, so there's... That, that's always a good sign. Can you imagine being that infected person? First you're escaping from a purifier, throwing around Molotov cocktails, and then you run in front of a guard who's just wailing at you with his fucking fists, trying to kill you with his bare hands. I mean, sure, it's probably not nice to be infected in the first place, but just imagine dying like fucking that. Stop throwing Molotovs at me, asshat. Jesus. I could have been a famous singer. Well, that's good for you. Uh, but you're accused of what happened in the cathedral. It wasn't me, it's Clara, it was her, it's all her doing. In the Sabarovs, I've acknowledged it, and they're horrified. I've been told, torn apart between affection and duty. Katarina's torn her clothes to pieces, hair unstrung, wallowing naked at her husband's feet, begging to spare her daughter. Why Clara? Because no longer than yesterday afternoon, she bragged she knew a secret passage into the cathedral. Moreover, she was planning to get inside. Go ahead and find her. It's her doing. Why is it that every time something ghastly happens in this town, there's always a finger pointing at me? Oh, I need a sample of your blood. My blood? That's news. Do you think my blood is of different color, and thus different deserves your most careful scrutiny? I'm waiting. Here. Take it. I have nothing to be afraid of. Just don't like the sight of blood, it's all. Ouch, does it have to be so painful? Why are you taking so much? I'm going to faint. You're trying to kill me, you butcher, but I'm not guilty. What? I haven't even squeezed that ounce yet. Jesus. Need to study it under a microscope as soon as possible. I wonder if there's a time limit for that, which would mean that I would have to... ...pretty much run over there. Let's go... Let's quickly talk to Sabarov, go check that blood, then go get the other blood, and... If that doesn't work... Most surely there is a time limit. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm pretty much expecting that, which is why I saved. So... If this all takes too long, I'm not completely fucked. And I can just load. Even if that means more running around. We'll see, we'll see. Hello there! My chest hurts. Can it well, be conscience? That's good for you. Do you already know what happened in the cathedral? Yes. Tragic, but at least it makes our jobs easier. The Manita rumors turn out to be true. If you catch her, things will be better. I don't want to believe that it's Lara or Yulia, but the evidence is too obvious to just let them walk, isn't it? Did you order the arrest of Lara and Julia? I'm going to. If we fail to establish which one of the two it was, both are going to the dungeons to wait for the Inquisitor's arrival. On what grounds? Most solid. Items belonging to them were found inside the cathedral. Lara was even identified. Those few who were still able to speak mentioned her name. Lara or Clara. Whatever shape this many to takes, I will unmask her. The anonymous person who bailed out the murderous criminals and emptied the jail yesterday. The two was a woman. 
She came here twice. Giggity. And the disease broke out in the left wing of the jail after her visit. Then why do you think that it was one of the young women in question? Who else would have bailed them out? Anyone. Sounds like you're an asshole. There's a terrifying rumor spreading of the carrier in the cathedral. It's put everyone into a state of trepidation. Sabato places the blame on Julia and Lara. The experiment that Ruben and I conducted was a success. The truth should be easy to establish. You only need to test the blood. But do I need to now test the blood also of Julia? Ah, oh, of course. I need to also test the... Ah, oh, of course. And I'm fairly certain I cannot get all of their blood at the same time and check them out, right? Because that would be too fucking easy. Asshole in this game? Not like that would happen. Everybody's been super nice so far. Just starting torch mobs wanting to burn everything like that's nice, right? Got any schmauder kids around? I should have things to sell for schmauder. I got sharp objects, kids! Hello there. She doesn't look like an hmm. evil So, spirit. what's the news? Any further She's discoveries? She's indeed unlike us. Well, I finally saw the murderer, but uh, you stand accused of a crime, and Sabra wants to publicly announce you visited the cathedral. Does he now? So, there are consequences of yesterday's conversation. Domino effect, no less. Why do I owe the pleasure of your company, then? Do you come to see me as a friend, or in your, shall we say, official capacity? Well, I'm on duty. I need to examine a sample of your blood. Examine it all you like. I have nothing to be afraid of. I'm also a friend because I don't want to see Julia or Lara die. So... I'm trying to be nice to them, even though I'm doing it in an official capacity. A kind of friend. Sort of. Technically, in a way. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, fuck the rats, too. Fuck, this is not good! There we go, at least the rat is dead. Holy shit. Okay, that was not... That was... Not good. Stupid plate carrying... Oh, for fuck's sake. How fucking many of you are there? <laughs> Jesus. I can't carry that much. Way too many lockpicks. Oh, he's like a fucking gang war right now. I think I'm fading. Is there My anything I can worn be of help? Good day, Lara. The government no believes it's our oh, good day, Daddy. I'm not offended at all. You don't have to say anything. Do you need my hand or my arm? Well, I wanted to talk to you first. Where were you last night? I stayed in, just like you advised everyone to. I found out all about the cathedral situation in my usual way, by listening to the shouting in the streets. 
than my former meal, Claudia. Oh, she's still alive. Can you imagine that? Knocked on my window and told about my necklace. What necklace? I had antique jewellery. It was very dear to me. Not just to me. Stammerton offered me 10,000 for it. A fortune back then. Especially for an ordinary Kamein tree necklace with a dark metal lacework. Don't really think it was worth that much, although the carving was magical. Beads from the necklace were found at the cathedral. Are you crying? Beads were in their mouths. Oh, unfortunate were muttering the Mara sprayed her tears over them. Others said she kissed them. The rest claimed that she offered them water. People call these beads Lara Ravel's tears, and now everyone will think it's my doing. Well, I'll dissuade them. Check my blood first. It's only fair. At least you won't have any doubts that you're telling the truth. Thank you, Lara. All right. Let's try and survive Ruben's Prosecutorium, I guess. Plot twist, you're a vampire and this is your endgame. Would not be a surprise. There's a rat. Let's unequip our knife. I don't need I don't need to knife a rat. I need to punch them. Up oh, there was another one of those weird Almost got infected. Thankfully, only almost. All right. Almost away from here. <sighs> oh, fuck. I yeah, forgot the other areas infected as well. Am I being chased? Yes, I am. Alright, now to brave this fucking area again. It's gonna be bullshit. Yep, like I said, it's gonna be bullshit. Because I think I'm still gonna have to go through the back. And if Jonathan had been here, I know the exact emote he would have used. <laughs> ah. All right. We'll take the other route because that one's blocked by a fucking disease cloud. There's no point in trying to go through there. This is very much a save scum game. That much I've noticed. It's, um... Uh, Actually, very unlikely that anybody would actually play through, be able to play through this on one fucking save. I refuse to believe that that's possible. Holy fuck. I don't remember that one, actually, Shen. I need to play more Phoenix Wright games again. It's been quite a while.
I think all of these look fine, right? I'd rather not go looking for another hideout. My life has come to an end. What do you mean? Hi, Gino. Uh, not hi. I said it already beginning. I'm just confused again. Better to scum the game before it scums you. True. Gordy, like... I have a recollection of that, yes. I just don't remember any details. So, my life has come to an end. What do you mean? Nothing apart from what I'm saying. Any crime warrants punishment and what I did was a crime, regardless of what good intentions I may have had. Here, take the vaccine. I'm going to see Georgi. That's suicide. We did what had to be done. But I won't spend the rest of my days trying not to look the canes in the eye. Come on, take it. I want you to have my treasures. I won't need them anymore. Don't go, Rubin. If you care for my opinion at all, stay. I definitely need your help down the line. We'll have to put our way soon. Okay, so how am I supposed to... How am I supposed to then... Compare, to, compare these? I, 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 I don't understand. Am I supposed to get all of the four first? Maybe. Now, it's been a while since I've played those. Phoenix Wright is the guy from the objection meme, yes. I've been thinking about getting the EC Trilogy Pack, but just haven't had the opportunity yet. Partially for the reasons I mentioned at the beginning of the streams, you know, because, you know, just been quite a bunch of expenses lately, so I haven't really bought things for myself. Please. I love that sound effect. No! I do! Don't you dare say anything else. Because even if you don't like it, I still do. Is it this house? Yes. Another one split his ancestor came in a couple of months ago. I need to pick that collection up myself. Yeah, there were those ones as well. I need to look into those one day as well. It's just like I said, I just haven't really had the chance to get myself anything lately. I will. Yes. That's one of the reasons why I'm trying to quit with my vices, so I'll have a little bit more extra spending money for myself. Aspidy, you're accused of being a man-eater. They'll come for you soon. What is a Shabnak? It's an evil spirit wearing a woman's flesh over its bones. Shabnak can be detected by several distinct signs. Its arms are too long, and its toes are the same length, and you can see teeth peeping out from under its skin. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, whoa. Whoa, indeed. I'm always happy to help. I want to help you catch the monster while well, you're failing at that anyway. Almost a week's passed, but people keep dying and dying and dying and dying. Sure, go ahead. Where to start? Perhaps the examination of the suspects would help. Of course it will. Here's how it goes. You gather all the ladies you find disconcerting in the cathedral. It won't be hard seeing how it's empty now. Light up a huge fire by the entrance and make them strip naked and begin the very thorough examination, looking for the sharp protrusions from beneath their skin. If you don't find any, of course, then... Uh, I have an alternative solution. How about we take a look at your blood? Oh, blood's unnecessary. Look for teeth. 
we want to hear the rest or not. Anyway, sooner or later, one of them will break, unable to endure it longer, and make a dash for it in tears. Straight into the farce, of course. That's when a true nature will become apparent. She'll turn all black and she'll howl and wail, and her fingers will become crooked. It'll be pretty obvious then that she's no human. Or that she's very burnt. Sure. Now stand still and don't worry. Don't worry, the needle's on you. Do these effects overlap? Time to test the Thundalane! Thank you very much for your 300 BDs! And, uh, doing a technical test whether you could break things. But I was smart enough, I put them in a file where they go into a queue instead of playing after each other. So, <laughs> for once, I was smart and decided to preempt things. <laughs> Thank you very much again for your 300 BDs. Your support is very much appreciated. Thank you, Thunderlane. Uh, they were going to call it Shirley Holmes, but apparently copyright. Yeah, Conan Doyle's estate would have not liked that very much, I'd assume. <laughs> yeah, saw it for a witness. Larry Curly Moe for a clown. Yeah, the, they're um, interesting. Alright, so what the fuck am I supposed to do with the blood now? The microscope is immune to magic. It sees true charm and deception. But yeah, but... The question is where... Oh, for fuck's sake. I still need one more, right? Is this that... What, what's her face? I guess I have to go back to Saborov then. Talk to her. Talk to his wife. I completely fucked up that one. Yeah, yeah, it has the pairs Lubin understanding. Well, yeah, that's that's pretty much the game. But it's not even midday yet, Shen. So I'm fine. It's perfectly fine. You'll be fine. And in the... Oh, for fuck's sake. And in the game with the peace, love, and understanding, and in that spe specific case, in fact, which is basically the game's tutorial case, I kind of like that the defendant is called I'll Be Your Guide, because that's what he is. He's your guide telling you how the game works. I don't think I'm supposed to hug even the red clouds, Cthulhu. Som somehow I feel like those are... For fuck's sake! <sighs> Somehow I feel like those are probably even worse. I don't understand the hitbox. I mean, sometimes... I can be right next to them. And they don't seem to hit me. Sometimes it feels like I'm so fucking far away and they still... Don't fuck all for it's 
so I got Molotov. Yeah, there's dick gumshoe, salmonella. There were, well, very many puns. And Phoenix Wright. Holy shit, that was an experience. It's 11 o'clock now. Of course, look at me. Yeah. It is very pun heavy game. That much is, that much is for certain. Or game series, that is. Oh, hi. It's not me, I swear. So, I'm so have you met the changeling the already? It's not my fault. Who? Changeling, the changeling. She's the spitting image of me. Only she's a ghost, a demon. She's not at all, not human in the slightest. A foul evil killer pretending to be me on purpose. I'm looking for her, looking for her everywhere. It was she who brought the disease on purpose. Yeah, windy old bag. What in the world are you talking about? Yes, yes, she spreads the disease from house to house. That's how it gets through walls. People open their doors to her willingly. Those gullible children think it's me. I only found out today. People are attracted to her. They want her to lay hand on their lips on their heart. They want to touch her. Okay, that sounds weird that a lot of people in this town want to touch a child. Um, and who are you then? I'm Clara, the instrument of miraculous power that's beyond the realm of humans. They call me the Harbinger Angel. No such angel. How do you know? Why are you to speak of the high heavens? You, the man that is stuck in the dimness of rebellious arts and the horrors of heretical teachings. Step away from me, bachelor. By the power that's been bestowed upon me, step away. Oh, come on. I need some blood from her. It is as I hope this changeling gets caught soon, but a despicable creature, the product of Stepper's insanity, made of bones and clay. Something. I am trying now, shut the fuck up. Um Who's it standing there? The girl. That's not her. How could you think that? Don't you see this is my foster daughter, Clara? Well, that's the one I'm looking for. She's not guilty, don't you know? She's a saint. She's helpful and kind. She heals people, or it dragged more than a hundred men out of the graves. Well, she was at the cathedral. It wasn't her! It was some changeling that walks around under the guise of our sweet girl. But we drove her out, and she crept to the cemetery, the proper place for the creature. She nestles there under the wing of the insane grace. Our daughter can stand her as well. Well, I still need a sample of her blood. No, never! It would be extremely impolite for us to besmirch her with suspicion. If we thought our distrust of and the grace that lives within her, she'll lose her miraculous abilities. No, never! She'll remain here on my responsibility. My spouse and I vouch for her. Well, I declare this girl grounded. I assume the town hall and the governor's house are equally reliable in this disrespect. Undoubtedly. The girl must stay here until the Inquisitor comes for her. No miracles until Kaminsky arrives. It'll be off, not Kaminsky. Off? Really? Yes, Karminski was recalled. He's needed in the field. As far as I understood, a certain delicate operation requires a hanging judge and a punisher. How the world is all unsu unsuitable for this? Yes? A big pun? It's me who's going mad? That's nice. Okay. So... I need more However feet. astute Where you then are next? unable to fathom the extent of the evil you're doing. Oh, there. Okay. So, graveyard next. Urio Tigre. All right.
Graveyard, graveyard, graveyard. So it grace. So oh, she's saying there's somebody who looks exactly like her. That's sp ah. the fuck. That's like some kind of a. Okay, that cloud had an interesting um, particle effect. Well, in the menu, the character was called a changeling, so... I would not have been surprised at that revelation at all. <laughs> you know, that was not a smart move, trying to mollus a guard. A little bit of a spoiler, yeah? Alright, so I need to get to the graveyard, which means I should maybe go No, actually, I could get around from Aspidy's house. It's just because the map is stupid. It doesn't show me that there's a hole there. When, in fact, there is. It was at 10 in the evening, we're gonna have to be... Well, we don't have to be, but we're supposed to be at the termitary to carry out an assassination. So that's, uh, that's the thing we're gonna have to do. Or we are gonna do. Not have to, but we're gonna. Because we were promised 10,000 for it. Hi, lady. Have you heard? My head is splitting. Turns out... The source of the disease is one of us. Have you seen Clara? Murder time. Exactly, for once it actually is that. He's hiding in the infected part of town most likely. Maybe somewhere by the station. A terrible person is coming from the capital to execute her tomorrow. She wanted to hide between the carriages and slip onto a train and leave. But didn't want to go do it without saying goodbye to Murky and Sticky first. Does Clara have a twin sister? Shop Nuggeteers made a habit of pretending to be Clara. She came to me once, talked to me. I didn't realize it at first, and then I wondered why was she so tall. So I looked down and saw it. She had no feet, just broken bones sticking out of her shoes. So scary. I was short of breath, and I ran away. She had such an evil scowl, laughing. What did she say? Lots of things. She even mentioned you. Said she was looking for you. Said she wanted to lure you into a trap to fool the doctors. Said the doctor's not so smart. That she fooled everyone and she's gonna fool him too. Turn his needles into hooks so and prick her hands. That's interesting. Um. So that is, yes. is, is, is that it? Okay. That, that. Okay. So, hiding somewhere. Infected district, maybe near a station. That's where the kids are. Maybe there. I'm just getting a feeling that it's not a good idea to go in there, because we were told not to come there, because, you know...
Oh, please don't tell me. I just had a fucking horrible idea. I'm gonna save just in case. Remember early in the morning... Ava said she had a surprise for us. I just had a really fucking horrible idea about what the surprise might be. Just, 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 just saying. She's a bit of an idiot sometimes, so I would not also be surprised, but I do now. Yeah, surprise! You're infected now! Yeah, that's kind of how it seems to be going. I'm mildly worried, so I'm, I, I made a hard save there. I'm gonna check Ava first. Then I'm gonna check the children. I'd prefer not to go there. But... I might have to. Hello there! Hope you don't mind uh, just standing around there, listening to people throw fucking Molotov cocktails everywhere. Does that make sense? See, that looks like it's some kind of a... Either an angel or a robed figure. That brown cloud. I don't want to touch it. Because it doesn't look like it's something I want to touch. I mean, clouds that try to touch me have generally not been a good idea to touch in this game, so... Now when I get a massively larger one... That also has... Signs of religious symbolism attached to it... It makes me even less... It, it makes me want to touch it even less, because... Generally, religious symbolism in a game equals... Okay, that's gonna fucking kill you. Probably. Hey, what about the problem of evil? Well, we, we kind of gave up on that by becoming really fucking evil and... Uh, scamming 50,000 from a guy... Whose door... Well, whose kinda sorta adopted daughter... We knew was gonna fucking die and whose heart we would then take. And now today we're gonna kill that guy, whose money we scammed. So, uh, yeah, that, that, that's my problem of evil for today. <laughs> oh, hello there. Hi. It's not me, I swear. I'm yeah, everybody the says that. It's not my fault. Hi, Clara. Are you sure? So much move, little tramp. Are you looking for me? May I touch your forehead? No, please don't. Clara, you are being accused of the premeditated murder of several hundreds of people. Victims are still being counted. Method of murder, deliberately infecting them via personal contact. Were you the cloaked woman that was seen at the cathedral last night? Of course, I'm not denying it. I was trying to help them, and I did. I cured a lot of them, I promise. Then them water and offered gifts, because this way it's easier for them to believe, and that's very important. You're a tough one, aren't you? Should I maybe wait for the Inquisitor to arrive? Hmm? When I was leaving, I was sure that I managed to cure them all. Must have missed someone or something. I know it's not my fault, but I swear I wasn't the cause of all this. My heart would have sensed that. Although I have to admit, I'm confused already. Confused? Doesn't matter, it's not like you believe me anyway. But if my blood turns out to be wrong in some way, will you? what will you do with me then? And first questions later. Of course, right or left? Don't care, stand still. Avon? You're a little bit of an idiot. Aren't the Inquisitor you? will hold you responsible. You'll have to show her the source of the disease. 
You know, I'm almost happy now, my dear Daniil. I found a way to help you, but hush for now. It's a secret. Well. So this wasn't your secret? Oh, shit. My inventory full. That's not I'm good. I'm so tired. I might faint. Oh, good for you. Okay, so I'm going to take that stuff into my cabinet thingy. I'm running out of space. Which kind of worries me. Now. Oh, for fuck's sake. That means... I'm sick. The world is going dark. Have I... You've changed. Or... I'm missing one, but I don't know if it matters. I think it's now in a bag in a fucking floor. All right, blood, and that's blood. <sighs> what do I do with those last things? I don't know how this works. So far... So far it all looks normal to me. I don't know what to do with these. Somehow use this. Oh. I have no idea where the fuck that lens went. I clicked it and something happened. I'm confused. Oh well. Help those people by killing them with illness and diseases. Are you sure you're in good health? I'm glad. Taking a look at your blood. It is the strangest blood I've ever seen, but it doesn't contain the thing I was looking for. Could I have lost this battle? I've mulled it over, and here's what I think. Hand me over to the Inquisitor. I'll have to talk to him anyway. You have every right to do that, don't you? And most importantly, you won't be making a mistake. Why? I've mulled it over, and well, people must be right. The key to the mystery. The mystery of the disease must have something to do with me, even if I'm not the cause. I'll help the Inquisitor get to the bottom of all this, and he'll find a way to extract the truth from me. On a rack. Well, I never. Are Inquisitors allowed to torture people? They didn't know that. Born yesterday, after all. Whatever I do, I can't avoid meeting him, so why don't we just fix it so that it will be you turning me in? That'd be a great victory for you, wouldn't it? Why are you frowning? And what will be the value of such a victory? The real foe has not been identified yet. Do you expect me to behave like they do? To engage in wishful thinking? Lie to everyone and to myself? Like those who are in charge of our fate and who I despise so much. Something is wrong here. True, Clara's blood is indeed usual, but it's also clear of any infection. There is no plague carrier. The primary assumption proved incorrect. The cornerstone of my theories crumbled. I failed to discover the source of the infection, and I was unable to finalize the treatment methodology. What am I going to say to the Inquisitor tomorrow? I have no fucking idea. Oh, we have a new note. Found the carrier of the disease, tracked the carrier down, come at once while it's still relevant. I went outside because I thought 
brought me yesterday vaccine, otherwise I wouldn't have left the room, I swear. Sitting tight now. Maria Kanas, caution. I must warn you while I still can. Later today, the governor is going to play a disgusting maneuver in which you resign to the role of the hanging judge. Be on your guard. Do not let them seduce you with whatever tempting defendants they will parade before you. They are innocent of this, I have no doubt. I will tell you the details the moment I see you. Is this all right? Maria Kane, okay. We're close to Maria Kane, so let's go see Maria Kane. It's close by. Okay, um, seems like we've done the main quest of the day now. Still have a murder to do, Sticky, or whatever the fuck wants to see us now. Maria Kane wants to see us now. Who were um adherent. So far, every one of those is still alive, so that's good, I guess. Ah, oh, you wanted to see me. The Sabarovs Tomorrow, have disavowed everything Clara. will change. Something She's bothering not you? I feel a powerful life force. How strange. I expected to be overcome with it on the first day when Simon died, but it's only happening now. Time to begin. What are you talking about? Nothing of importance. I love seeing how unexpectedly, peculiarly, and precisely every omen prediction and foretelling come true. It's time for me to begin fulfilling my duty. Seems like my time is gum, Patchler Tarkovsky. And what are you going to do? I don't know yet. It'll become apparent soon. For now, I want to stay alone. I'll be sleeping. I want to dream about mother and son. I want to ask them questions. Okay, good for you. Do you, 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 you do you then. And we've got plenty. We've got plenty of time until the moment when I know we're gonna have to go out. I don't know if I want to go to the sticky one right now. I, I should not. Is there... First, it's on the exact opposite side of the town. <laughs> I don't know if I... I don't know if I want to do this. Let's see. So this is the termitary. It's close to sticky, so maybe we should check out the termitary. Maybe we should check out the termitary and uh, <coughs> go visit sticky. See what kind of a place we're facing in the evening. That's not necessarily a bad idea. I've also kind of... I've kind of been on a going back in time phase for a while. Like, for example, I started playing the Creeper World games again. And I've really been enjoying them again. I, they're, they're not difficult games. They're quite far away from it. But they are kind of chill. I really... I really like the whole... idea of fighting... almost like a force of nature. And it's just... Mostly very chill, huh? Mostly a very chill game. Series. Yes, Sean. Ah. With clouds.
Never shun. Ooh. Hey, kiddo. Want some sharp objects? Yeah, you want some needles, don't you? Ah. Uh -huh. You don't have schmouders. Oh, fuck you, kid. You're not getting any needles from me. I would like one bread, please. Just like you have wanted one facial expression, I have wanted one bread. We have both received what we want. Come at once. Yeah, just stickies. Because I don't know what Maria Kane was talking about. Oh well. It happens. No, okay, so that's more for J uh, that's more of a JF Garipi thing. Not, I'm not into that stuff. Moderately lost. Maybe. No, I think I'm still going the right direction. I just need to find a way. Into the termitary. I don't think I've been there. Well, I, I think I may have walked past the wall, but I haven't really paid any attention to it before. I'm kind of interested to see where I'm going to have to go and try and um, assassinate the hunchback dude. Because there's a problem that I don't know if it's worth 10,000. We'll see. I'd like another bread, please. I'm not going to eat it yet, but I'll have it. So th this is the termitory. That looks kind of depressing. Because I wonder where... I wonder where in here they're going to be then. This looks like an enclosed place where they might arrive to. Because this is a pretty big fucking place, so... Might be a good idea to scout for potential places before we're gonna have to be here, because I don't think... Yeah, we don't have... A map marker. Oh, there's another food place here. That's good to note. So these are... Oh, they're here already! Never mind!
Okay. Well, at least now I don't have to con uh, now I don't have to worry about where they will be. Now I'm gonna have to worry about whether the how the fuck I'm gonna try and stay alive. Which is a uh, legitimate question. Also, my revolver's almost busted. This is exactly what I mean. I'm not sure if this is going to be worth it. My revolver's almost busted, and a new revolver costs almost 20,000. I'm going to get 10,000 for this. And I'm facing, if I saw correctly, five people throwing Molotov cocktails. That's, uh... That, uh, that's not super good. Yes, KS. <laughs> I killed one at least. Better than I expected. This is going to be really fucked up. Because <laughs> as you know, the game is not... This game is not meant for fighting. Well, yeah, he did say he wanted to gather up some zealots and burn the town, so... Apparently that's exactly what he's done. Fuck! Not, not a massive fan of this quest. To be completely honest. It's kind of fucked up. Oh, for fuck's sake. I need to go right fucking next to them to hit them with a revolver. That's... that's fucking awful. And... I died from one to two hits. Now. I might have to go somewhere and heal for a while. Before coming over here. What would be the closest place I could do that? Oh, it's perfectly fine. You'll be fine. I'm not even sure where the nearest bed is. I might be able to sleep at Anna's, actually. Yeah, that, that'll that'll have to be it. But I'm also going to do that the next time because I do have to start preparing for work. Because it is it is a Wednesday day, which means it's going to be a busy one for me, unfortunately. It's not the walking on the fire that's the problem. It's getting hit by fire, Shen. That's the problem. Ah, oh, god damn it. But yeah, that's gonna be for the next uh, pathologic stream. But the next stream is going to be we're starting uh, Alan Wake. Which uh, hopefully is gonna be the first time I'm actually going to finish that one. So that'd be nice. But anyway, that is going to be it for this time. Thank you everyone so much for being here. And now I'm gonna to run to work. And, uh, gonna be rating listen. Yes, Shen. Yes, Shen. Thank you. You as well. Everyone, do have a good one. I'm gonna start preparing for work, and I hope all of you will have a good one. But anyway, 
Hope to see you on Saturday, and until then, Fintrovert, signing out. Next time, obey.